so which phone do you think took the best photo so every smartphone company making a flagship like vivo xiaomi claim to be the best smartphone camera available out there but whenever you ask for the best camera smartphone there's only two names apple iphone or Google Pixel. There's also Samsung, but ignore for this conversation. So the thing is, this is Vivo X80 Pro and it has like one of the best camera hardware partnership with Zeiss Lens Maker. By the way, if you just check Zeiss lenses, they started somewhere around 80,000, one lakh. That's like quite a lot of money. So the question is, can Vivo beat the iPhone and Pixel camera? Well, we'll find out. So we are out here from studio lights in real life condition to take some practical photos. So which photo do you think is the best? One thing that I clearly notice is if you zoomed in here and if I see here, this is a lot smoother. It looks like it has been smoothened artificially. Hmm. C looks more better to me. I think it's best contrast better than the others. My skin tone is looks very real. I hope it's Pixel 6. Yeah, I would say, so this would be Vivo and this is more close to natural, a good reflection. So this is Pixel. Wrong. Now the thing is, I consistently saw is iPhone 13 takes a lot of yellowish skin tone, like Manu doesn't look like this yellow. The most accurate skin tone was Pixel 6 and Vivo X80 Pro was close second. Now both these phones have really big sensors. So the problem with big sensors here, if you see is, I cannot focus on this book up close. So you cannot take close-up photos or videos, but Vivo X80 Pro has an ultra wide angle camera that acts as macro camera. So where you get these blurry photos with iPhone 13 and Pixel 6, Vivo X80 Pro switches to the macro mode. Now I like this approach of automatic switching to macro mode. It's seamless because you won't always switch to a dedicated macro camera mode every time when you want to take a macro photo. The best features in camera should work by default. Rest, in normal photos, it's very hard to distinguish between Vivo X80 Pro, iPhone 13 and Pixel 6, which is a compliment for Vivo, like this picture. The colors, contrast, HDR is the same. And at times, Vivo X80 Pro was more accurate than iPhone or Pixel, like here. Vivo and iPhone 13 are accurate in terms of colors and here Pixel 6 and Vivo are more accurate in terms of color if you look at the red billboard behind. And just like the iPhone 13 has picture styles, Vivo X80 Pro has this Zeiss color mode which usually you think smartphone plus camera partnerships are just gimmick like most of the time but here the Zeiss mode is actually effective. The Zeiss color mode gives you really natural real life colors and a good thing is it stays on once you turn it off even after you close the camera app. Now, pixels are known for awesome dynamic range. Like you can see the shadows and you can also see the bright sky. So we took this photo, which is against a bright glass. Like in real life, it's hard to see the other side. And here, if you see both Vivo and iPhone 13 struggles, you see this halo white thing around Manu's body. It's called HDR artifacts. Pixel 6 is all smooth, like nothing happened. No HDR artifacts, like nothing. And I was even amazed to see that the Vivo does a better job than the iPhone. Like look at this library picture and look at the glass at the back. The HDR on Vivo is a bit better than the iPhone 13. Now all the three phones can do 4K 60fps on the main sensor and you have OIS as well. And here is where the iPhone shines. Like look at Manu's bag and t-shirt all the time. The HDR is maintained throughout. Now Vivo X80 Pro does have a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle camera while the Pixel 6 and iPhone 13 have a 12 megapixel ultra wide. But the ultra wide angle photos were more or less the same. Even if you zoom right in, the sharpness is more or less the same. Now one advantage Vivo X80 Pro has is these one two three four cam cameras you get ultra wide angle camera 1x 2x and 5x and the 2x ported camera also has a gimbal and i have used the 2x camera quite a lot it takes really good portrait photos also you can digitally zoom and go like 60x and before you go like Pratik, well, that's just a gimmick, not 100%. Like we were in this park and we saw a really good bird far, far away. And they fly away so you cannot go close and take photos. At these times, the 60X is handy. Like it wouldn't happen to you every day. And even it's very difficult to manage the camera at 60X. There you see, there are a lot of shakes, but you get a usable or at least showable photo. Okay, maybe a gimmick. But what's not a gimmick is the selfie camera. Hands down, Vivo takes the best selfies. You get a 32 megapixel camera and be it skin tone, color, or you zoom right in for sharpness. 
it's just better than the iPhone 13 and Pixel 6. Okay, so this is the front selfie camera and you will hear the audio. There is a lot of noise. But this Pixel 6 has speech enhancement mode, which really cuts off the noise using AI and you should hear me a lot better. So we waited through the night because all of this flagship should be able to perform really good in low light because you pay 1 lakh rupees to get better low light photos and all of this sensor shift, gimbal, OIS, everything comes into real use in low light conditions. And surprisingly, in low light, I couldn't find that much difference. But overall, Vivo was accurate. The iPhone 13 was a bit yellow and the Pixel was a bit cool. Ha! Huh, one thing, Vivo worked on was lens flare. Like if you see this video, both iPhone and Pixel has that lens flare at the bottom. What happens is your camera sensor is covered by glass and glass bends the light a little bit. Like see this flash here and if you put it behind here, there's a small amount of refraction. That's just physics, glass property. But Vivo worked on this year and actually the lens flare is almost zero. And the video footage on Pixel 6 in low light is just noisy and the footage is not usable. But the more interesting part is here. Now we took a lot of photos on Vivo, Pixel and iPhone and surprisingly in most of the photos, Vivo tries to brighten up Manu's face like make him look fair and it becomes more evident in low light conditions. And the thing is, Manu has slightly darker skin tone than me so this problem doesn't happen in my photos. So this is the only thing I hope Vivo fixes next time and this might not be a problem to a lot of people like me if you have a fairer skin tone. But you remember this year Pixel 6 in their launch discussed a lot about different skin tone and how they work to make sure everyone looks how they look in real life the same way in photos. And of course you get lots of extra features like Zeiss lens filters which do take good photos as you can see and you get pro photo and video mode. On Pixel 6, you have a bit of options like action pan shot, which gets these cool photos. On iPhone, you have cinematic mode, which is just a fancy name for portrait video. But it looks good though. And while we were shooting outside in the heat, the Pixel 6 just stopped video recording because the device was too hot. And this is not something new. The temperature in Delhi is around 45, 47 degrees. So it happens with every smartphone that we use outside. So does the Vivo beat the iPhone and the Pixel? Well, in my opinion, personally, I feel Vivo has the most underrated smartphone camera in this entire flagship segment. It has the most versatile camera, 1X, 2X, 5X. And if not beating these two, it still stands on par with the iPhone and the Pixel. The only thing they have to improve is the whitening of the skin tone on some skin colors. And the Pixel 6 still is undoubtedly the best smartphone camera phone like the colors the skin tones are very close to natural wish it was available in india but we will be definitely waiting for the pixel 6a and i think iphone still has the better video quality more consistent i hope they fix the lens flare this year and on that note this is really signing off see you in some other video